There is an opportunity in every crisis, and the deeper the crisis, the better the opportunity can be. But some people are not capable of seeing it. We have all heard that the Chinese use the same word to describe the concepts of crisis and opportunity. What they mean to say is that in every crisis lies an opportunity, depending on how it is looked at. A lot of you are asking, what should I do, give us some solutions. Well, I tell you what I personally do. 1. I buy silver. 2. I buy farmland. 3. I invest in assets, businesses related to aged care and healthcare. That's all I do. Diversify. And don't put all your eggs in one basket or count your chickens before they hatch. And always remember that the most important asset we have is our mind while the masses run for toilet paper, the few focus on building their immunity. I have been warning my viewers about the fact that the stock market was being held up by the constant adding of liquidity to the financial system via Fed's repo loans as a result of sluggish economic cash flow. The stock market continued rising higher while the cash in the financial system was drying up. I knew that sooner or later quantitative easing would become ineffective, and the market was just waiting for a catalyst to initiate a massive market downturn. The virus is that catalyst. I tell you the truth. I didn't want to be correct in my analogy and forecast, but I am starting to see every day that my forecast and analogy was absolutely correct. This is the time when you don't want to be right, but I saw the writing on the wall months ago. This is not a bear market, it's the beginning of a global depression. Real estate is not good to buy right now. Wait until hyperinflation. Buy agricultural land and produce your own food the best way to protect yourself and others. Second is gold and silver. Third is cattle or goat farming. There is a great buying opportunity coming in the next one to two years. Prices will be cheap. You should have some cash handy and be ready for this disaster. This crisis of gigantic proportions seen by some as the perfect storm should help us at least to see better, to see more clearly, to decentralize our look from our individual or national problems, to have a global look, to realize that our local crises for example the dangerously growing unemployment cannot be fully understood if we do not place them in an international perspective. This crash is going to be so big. But you can also turn it into the biggest opportunity in the history of the world. No amount of quantitative easing will be able to stop the coming crash. Even if they solve this virus thing we are still going to have a crash. This is the worst time in world history. It's also the greatest opportunity to history of the world but what you do with those is up to you. While 99% of major economies are cutting rates like cutting grass on their lawns. If this is not a recession, then I don't know what is. The problem is that one man's debt is another man's wealth. If your own savings are denominated in dollars, forgiving another's debt wipes out your savings. That is the problem with a fiat system. The only option is to personally carry no debt and get out of the system altogether. Tens of trillions for the too big to jail and too big to fail. You cannot taper a Ponzi scheme. But you paper a Ponzi until the paper is confetti. Wall Street is not the real economy, large, medium and small businesses, producers, and service providers are the real economy. They need help before the thieves of Wall Street get the free cash that will be devalued as soon as they put it through their ringer. They are the ones that offshored everything they can. And are now the ones taxpayers have to bail out when they falter. Wall Street's next shtick is to automate as much production as they can, bring jobs back home, to robots. Can a virus really cause this amount of mayhem in global financial markets? Or, were global financial markets already weak? I seem to believe the latter. The virus is real. The real question is, how healthy are you? During this crisis, you are either going to get healthier and wealthier, or you're going to go bust. Your choice, it's between your ears, your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit, and your attitude. This could be the best thing that ever happened to you physically mentally emotionally and spiritually. You either going to play the victim and wait for the government to take care of you, or you are going to grow up and start creating assets that will protect you. Every problem and every crisis should make you stronger. The recession is a reset, learn from this. A market crash of epic proportions is coming. I believe this is the precursor. The stock market could crash after the interest rate starts to increase again because this is usually when crashes happen. This is why I preach this in my videos, so investors can understand what they are up against. 
You can see for yourself that your 401k is the poor man's gold nugget that isn't worth a penny. The smarter you are with money, the more money you will make without working for someone else. A well-allocated portfolio will do its job on your behalf. Don't let society fool you any more about money. We have been fooled ever since inception. Don't let this continue to happen to you. It is now time to stop the cycle. They are going to keep you in fear about the virus to the point where all your assets will be removed from you. This event has been planned for decades. The 2007 toilet tanking of the economy was just a precursor. They need a better excuse to truly enslave you. In politics, nothing happens by accident. If it happens you can bet it was planned that way. Bankers are more dangerous than viruses or standing armies. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. This lockdown is not getting lifted anytime soon. They will keep extending the deadline as they have done so far. Lockdown will never work when you fight viruses. This is a bad precedent and I am pretty sure will be used in the future more often. This virus is ineffective anyways, since in the last couple of hours the global population boosted from 7,775,891,370 to 7,775,905,500. And they are shutting down just about every business because of this. This is to kill small and medium-sized businesses while separating people so they cannot discuss what's really going on. Also, testing for the fake hoax virus is worthless. Even if it was real, you could just contract it the day after the test, even if negative. Have you ever wondered why a nation has never attempted lockdowns in the past? The US just got through a bad flu epidemic, and we beat it by treating the very sick just like we did in the past. A communist nation that has recently claimed to have locked down its population for the first time in history continues to have sick people. This is why we don't lock down a nation. It's a futile exercise. Viruses come back every year, slightly different. This used to be simple and accepted. We all worked on hygiene and staying healthy. Not rocket science. Nothing has changed other than a few dishonest officials caving into a stupid communist agenda. America is a continent with 25% of the population of China over a larger habitable area, and Americans are much less likely to live on top of each other. We are an anti-social folk, preferring our individual, small, self-selected community over the greater population. Well, over 50% of the asymptomatic positive test results turned out to be false positives. This means if you were exposed but not symptomatic, you had a better chance of determining if you had the disease by flipping a coin. A better chance. Which also means all the initial statistics of how widespread it was were overblown too. It's not growing, like they want you to believe. It's growing, because more people are getting tested. They're not new cases, like the news reports, but newly diagnosed cases. And the infamous death toll? It's just not materializing as the globalists have hoped for. If you really want to know the real statistics on this nonsense, you're going to have to wait like two years for professional epidemiologists to study and analyze all the data. For now, make your own conclusions, this isn't deadly out of control disease. The situation in Italy sort of turned out not like we were initially told. Heavy Chinese population with straight flights to Wuhan. Hospitals that wouldn't turn anyone away, thereby self-overloading their own system. The average age of deceased well over 80 sort of like the flu would do. Open your eyes, don't believe everything you're told, especially not the first thing you're told. Like I said, the real story won't be known for years to come. This Corolla virus is the manufactured reset scapegoat they created. The greatest transfer of wealth to the 1% is happening right now. But regardless something huge is coming but it ain't the virus. Vegas and Disney parks do not shut down for nothing, their god is money. CEOs are abandoning corporations like rats leaving a sinking ship. Look what they are doing, don't listen to what they are saying. I can't believe people can't see this, and are actually obeying. For three years we have seen nothing but fake news on all levels and sides, but now we believe they are telling us the truth? This is a globalist ploy to enact tyranny and remove our Bill of Rights all in the name of medical tyranny. Fossey must go. Trump must fire Fossey immediately. He and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, who gave him over $100 million, are up to their eyeballs in bioweapons creation. Remember Bill and Melinda Gates supported the Perbright Institute's patenting of this exact virus, months ago. 
They also ran a Vent 201 and ran a bench test of the coronavirus where the results showed that 65 million would die. At the heart of all of this is the eugenics programs, whereby Bill Gates is leading a program to depopulate the world. Don't believe me. Look it up for yourself and watch the videos where he says all of this himself. Next, you will see a push for politicians to demand that you cannot go back to work unless you've been tested for coronavirus antibodies. And they will install a tattoo on your hand that they can scan. You won't be allowed to go outside your house unless you can prove that you've been tested. This is coming to California in the next two weeks. This emergency will end when the oligarchs have looted enough from the US Treasury peasant. You've been had America. When the military is filling our streets, and there are checkpoints, that's when people will wake up. And it will be too late. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you.